Hey, what's up you guys? It's Judy here with my life as Geek Guy. Today's video is a little bit different. I'm actually sharing something a little bit embarrassing with you. I, uh, I have a problem. I have an addiction to makeup. And even worse than that, I am a packaging hoarder. Yep. I don't keep all of them, but I just can't get myself to throw away the pretty packaging, as you can see from this video. So it's a little bit of a guilty pleasure of mine, a little bit of an embarrassment, but at the same time, I really don't care. You can judge me, but you know what? I created something pretty out of all this empty boxes. And uh, yeah, so this is a video where I show you basically how I create a collage sort of backdrop sort of thing. I don't know what it's called. I have never seen this done before, but I just had an idea and I thought I would do it. So. All this makeup packaging has been collected and hoarded and kept away in my closet for the last maybe, I don't know, two years or so. And uh, yeah, so basically as you can see here, I'm just arranging all the boxes um, in an arrangement that I think looks pretty or basically where each box fits or slots into each other. It was quite a long process, as you can see I've sped up the video. I've cut out huge chunks of where I've just mixed and matched and pushed around and taken out and re-puzzled and this and that and the other. You can basically see what I'm doing. I don't really need to explain it to you, I don't think. So uh, yeah, that's basically what I'm doing. I just thought I could share this video with you guys because like, if you're a packaging hoarder like me, then I thought that maybe you could do something like this with your makeup instead of all the pretty boxes just sitting in a box or a bag hidden away in your closet. And I wanted to do something pretty with these boxes, that's why I've been collecting them all these years. And I knew that I always wanted you to do something like this with them. I don't think I'm going to have this backdrop in all my videos just yet. Simply because my filming space is so small, I don't think I will be able to have it hanging up on the wall behind me. But I will try have it up uh, from time to time in different videos, depending on what I'm filming on the day. Here, I was trying to move my ring light around, one of the plastic bits fell off. and I, By this point, I had been on my hands and knees for nearly an hour. <laughs> and I was a little bit frustrated, hence the flip of the bird, I'm sorry. I think I arranged and rearranged and rearranged for about for about an hour just trying to get everything to slot into each other as nice as they could and even in the end product not everything fit perfectly inside each other as I would have liked but it is what it is so I'm taking my hot glue gun and then I'm not going to show you the entire process but basically what I did was apply hot glue to each surface that is sticking to another surface Stuck them together, so on and so forth, as you can see. This process actually was a whole lot quicker. It took me about half an hour, but this is probably the most messiest and stickiest process I have ever done. Well, but as far as creating crafts go, this is the most messiest and stickiest project I have ever worked on. Sorry. I didn't mean to be dirty. I did. But sorry. <laughs> oh, another flip in the bird. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was moving the boxes, it got stuck to the carpet, and when it released, it just sort of knocked everything else out of place. But anyway, onwards I go. I was a little bit hot and bothered by this point, but as you can see, it was all coming together. Let's go. Let's go. 
and it's all stuck together and at one point stuck to the carpet as well. As you can see I'm lifting it up to show you how it's all stuck together and I was pretty happy. As you can see. I let it sit and dry for about an hour and then I went over it with a few little bits and pieces of makeup that I don't use anymore and I just hot glued those to the spaces where they were a little bit empty and you could see gaps. And so yeah, this is the finished thing. I still have yet to get a big cardboard thing for the back and hot glue it to a cardboard to make it a little bit more stable so that the end bits don't come off because I feel like it's still a little bit flimsy so I'm going to need a cardboard backing to make it a little bit more stable and where I can take it up and down, hang it up on the wall if I need to. And so yeah, that's it. And it's also in a sort of form where I can still add more boxes that I keep on collecting to the outer perimeter of it if I want to. And uh, yeah, that's the finished thing guys. As you can see, it's out, come out pretty big. So uh, that's it for this video. If you guys did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. Follow me on all my social media. Thanks guys for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!